So hello everybody, welcome back. I hope that you like this video and that you find it helpful somehow. And um, anyway, grab your coffee and if you wanted to share one of you like it, links for that down below. And um, yes, today I look weird, I'm sweaty, I'm hot a little bit. And um, it's because it's a video blog about uh, the situation that is happening uh, lately. And so I will not recommend coffee for this one. I will probably recommend something like chamomile or something like this because it might sound like a nightmare. So, um, or maybe tea, which is a little bit better. <laughs> and um, anyway, grab that. And if you wanted to share one to me, you will have it. Links for that down below. And um, so I'm going to start by telling you that uh, we have been expecting a second national power outage for a very long time now after the first one happened. I told you that once the first one happened, there was so much chaos. And there was a lot of people that, honest to God, just grabbed a backpack and left by walking towards Colombia, which is a neighbor country, or towards Brazil, which is the next neighbor country or even towards the sea to try to just leave, period. They with a backpack and that's it. They, they did not look back. At this point, um, the fires that were happening were be beyond like uh, understanding. It was insane, the whole situation at that time. I have several videos about that one um, in the channel. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that they were part of the Etis list. If it was, then I'm sorry, I had to delete that one because there were um, somebody flagged those videos. And so I got into uh, problems with this platform and things like this, so I had to delete them. I just deleted the whole reproduction list, playlist, or you, whatever you want to call it. Because um, apparently um, it was, I don't know, too aggressive or something, uh, which I get it. Because, you know, uh, going to, to something like this is, is not that easy. So anyway, um, uh, right now, the collapse that we have been expecting is starting to happen. And um, half of my state that I live in does not have power for the last two days. They are expecting the power to be shared from the places that do have electricity. They will shut them down and then they will try to transfer the electricity towards us so that they can, it's kind of like you have half of your lung working and the other one is not. And so is this one is overdoing it. It's kind of like that. So it, it's kind of like they, they can transfer electricity where certain channels to certain areas and that way they will just cut them out because they have the same amount it doesn't matter if you have this then you only have one lung that is that is working you don't have two you have one but you you can make it happen somehow and um anyways it is it engineering departments and at the same time this is because um, depending upon the area that people are in you might be blessed by this thing because even if you don't have power they will not let you go 400 hours without electricity because they will make some concessions depending upon the place that you are in and um so at this point um you know we we are in an area that we are expecting to get a little bit of power maybe for about two hours or three hours Mm, that is every other day or something we don't know because that is the other thing that during hard times a lot of people will speculate and a lot of people will do things that um, are beyond understanding because they are pissed they are tired they are hot they are hungry and there is a lot of things that happen after six hours with no power whatsoever so um, we have been dealing with um, almost on a daily basis we don't have electricity we it's like I'm working on the computer or I'm working uploading a video and 
Yeah, now there is no power for six hours, nine hours, five hours on a daily basis and you don't even know. Sometimes uh, it's, it's like they cut the electricity 10 seconds, they put it back in. And you're like, what happened? My eyes shut, electricity went out, now it's in. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing that is extremely annoying and um, but but if you love your place and uh, you also have uh, the property of your house is yours and something like this then um, you are very likely to just deal with it or you know roll with it by roll with it you go kind of like okay fine let's go to the prehistorical times <laughs> that's it uh, if you are going to deal with it, then you have several things. You go engineering way. You find uh, ways with the community to fix these things. You uh, work, find people, do whatever it takes to make it happen. Uh, you can do this the merchant way, as in, how much is it going to cost me to use have the electricity set up right now? I have a bakery, and I, you know, I can't sell bake. Uh, you know bake things and I can't sell bread or anything because there is no power so how much and uh, you know then the, the the workers will tell you hey we need to buy these and these and this type of uh, things by the way I have mentioned it that there will be a list of five things that um, people will need in your, your community regardless of whatever there will be five things that are you know <laughs> easy but they are like daily basis it's kind of like when you're in a house and you need just the light bulb because it is electricity but you just need the light bulb yeah kind of like that so there is a lot of uh, tapes electrical tapes that you need and so the community will put together a lot of people that will go hey buy those things because these guys are not working because they don't have the equipment and they don't have the tapes so just buy the freaking things and, and give the guy coffee and, and things and give them food and whatever just just fix this thing and um you know that will be the merchant's way just Tell me how much it is, and that's it. I'm done. <laughs> uh, despite the fact that you're paying for the service and whatever. And so then there is the other way. Like I say, <laughs> you know, I'm a teacher. I don't have a lot of money. So um, also, I'm a woman. I'm not very strong. I can't go out there and help these guys. Uh, you will also need a water pump, as in the one that drains a emergency flooding pump. You will need that one in your house no matter what. And for your building, oh my God, if you don't have that thing in your building and you do not know how to use it and you do not have power for that, just for that, then you're probably going to be screwed all over if you're in a building and you don't have that. Um, I have mentioned this before uh, in the David Tower, the tower for David thing uh, for, for these type of situations. And so, anyway. The point being that this situation, several people will handle it differently. Um, at this point, I gotta tell you that if you are in the beginning of these issues, as, as in, you know, everything works normal, and this is the first time that you're dealing with this problem, yeah, you are, you will find that almost everybody will go to the company and make a line and yell at the cashiers or whoever is there, you go kind of like, hey, I have no power in my house. What the hell is wrong with you? Did you shut up the power and when are we going to get it back? And blah, 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 blah. yeah. And the company people, they are like, um, let me take your data, man. But that's it. That's all I can do because these people don't know. So basically, um, the people from the company do not know. There is no one, that, no, nobody that knows. And you're expecting people from the company to know, but they actually don't know. And so if you're in, in this thing from the beginning, um, you're wasting gas, time, and resources, and money, and whatever, by you going to the company to ask. Just don't. And um, because the, the, unless you're telling me that there is a, a problem, and you are actually saying something like, my neighbor who is next block, he has power, but I don't, then yes, you need to go to the company and tell them, hey, what the hell, that people have power and I don't. 
they will probably know why. But if it is the whole area, like, I don't know, say a whole county or whatever, then these people don't know. Just honest to God, they don't know. Anyway, I got interrupted. So, um, also you should know that there are um, phone lines that you can call and ask, but I'm going to tell you right now that most of those numbers, they are not going to, you know, be working. They just aren't going to work. And so at this point, there will be apps. I mean, if this is a situation in which there are a lot of problems all the time, then people will download apps. It's kind of like, you know, I'm a company and I'm tired of having 400 people at my, at my doorstep. I'm just going to handle everything by a by an app and this app is going to report me okay out of 400 people that came here for 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 you know complaining uh, only there were only two places that you need to go and the app they will have like a program or something and then the app will call the company and said hey you have over 10 complaints about this thing and um, you know that is going to be one of the things that you are going to be able to um to have so um you download the app and then you complain on the app and if the app has more than I don't know how many people for area but you know there has to be a certain number if it is just you then you're not going to do anything and at this point um, a lot of neighbors will ask you to download the app so that there is more pressure and uh, they will put priority because if you have 10 people complaining of an area versus 400 people that are complaining of the same problem in another area then priority is going to be given to those that are 400 versus your because there are only 10 people complaining and so that's going to be a thing uh by the way i do not know if you have that app or whatever but that is very likely going to happen i got interrupted again so anyway um uh, but by the way also through the app you will get a report number from everybody so it's kind of like um, if you have somebody that is your neighbor and they already complain about the same situation, they will give, they will probably share. Some people will share, some people won't. But some people will share your number and they say, hey, this is a case number. Make, make sure that, you know, you have, you're complaining about this same problem. And um, let's see, what else? There are several things that you will learn throughout this process. Number one. You will learn that if you don't own your house, as in you don't have property and you don't have roots, emotional roots, as in you don't have your mom, your daughter, your family, whatever, you don't have it in this place, in a, in a particular area, then very likely nine out of 10 times you will become a migrant and you will probably become a refugee. And this means that everybody who is living is all people who are good people and people that are horrible people and there is a lot of people that um, are crime related people and they will also leave the reason being is that let's say that you are, a, are somebody who is into crime and uh, you walk around and you steal people's cell phone every day so if people have money and they are medium class or high class, they have money and they have a lot of cell phones. So it's like you go out and every day you can get a cell phone because there is no problem. However, if people leave and then you try to get out to get a cell phone, you go kind of like, yeah, it has been three days and um, nobody's going outside at night. Mm. Nobody's doing this. Hmm. Nobody's doing that. Hmm. But I need to steal more cell phones. So where the hell am I going to get the money from? Hmm. So, crime people will follow all of the medium class people. Because remember, rich people, like elite people, they will have bodyguards and people, you know, and all kinds of things. Insurance, for God's sake. That, 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 that they will say something like, Oh, somebody wants to steal uh, your pen. Oh, don't worry about it. We will take a four, you know, a SWAT team and, and rescue your pen for you. Don't, don't, don't bother. Um, but, but, um, but seriously, I mean, uh, crime is usually aimed 
at medium class people. If medium class leave, then crime will leave. And so the people that are stay behind are always going to be people who are disabled, people who are elderly and can leave, people who have uh, very limited resources and things like this. And so that's going to be a thing. And so whenever you go to an area into this situation, you have to understand that crime will be reduced because there is no robbers, because they can't steal anything from you. Because if you go outside and you don't take your cell phone because you know that it's going to be stolen, then what the hell are they going to take from you? And so that's going to be one of the things that um, you, you want to understand. Crime will rise, go down, will rise, and they will go to certain areas only. So for example, there, let's say that there are 10 counties within your area, 10 counties, or 10 areas, or 10 states, or 10 cities, or 10 uh, farms, or 10 whatever it is that you want to call them. And um, well, robbers will go kind of like, let's just this month, and it will be kind of like a 40 day period most of the times. So I do not know why, but it will be kind of like that. Let's just take this area, take over this area, and leave the nine out of nine areas because, quite frankly, we can't find cows that have no milk. So let's just focus on killing one cow, sort of speak, this one. That's it. And so you will have a period in which this area is going to be like every day you go out and you're like, <gasps> somebody stole my, oh my God, they stole my necklace. They stole my earrings. They stole my shoes. They stole my pets. They stole everything. <laughs> and then, oh my God, it's insane. You going into that area <laughs> for, for those days. But then... Uh, you know, the, the guys will be kind of like, okay, we already clean out this area. Let's just move to the second one. And so there will be people that go, hey, crime is moving towards here. So stop doing that, you know, because they are going. It's kind of like uh, you have, you know, in medieval times, there were villages and somebody ran to the next village because they have family there or whatever. And they came home and said, hey, the robbers are coming. The bandits are coming. And you knew that they were just going to loot everything and then they were going to just move on it's kind of like a locus plague or something like that crime is going to be like that um and so what else can i tell you uh, a lot of people will change their edc by the way extremely important the edc thing um i have mentioned this before one of the first things that will happen is that you will be tracked in elevators no power, in the dark, panic attacks, especially if, if you know, you're weird, or uh, you're weird in, t in terms of uh, not knowing that if, if you are claustrophobic or something like that. If you don't know yourself, then this is going to be a first one for a lot of people. It's like, you, you are like, oh, I'm not claustrophobic. And then this happens and then you're like, oh my God, I'm so claustrophobic. So that will happen. You will change your own perception of yourself a lot. And that is going to make you feel very weird. And that is also going to make you weird because then everybody will think that you are not claustrophobic because that is what you told people. But now you know that you're not close that you actually are claustrophobic, but nobody knows that. <laughs> so that, that that is going to play out um, very, very weird. And so uh, seriously, that that's just one of the things. Um, and so your EDC uh, should include a whistle, a small whistle, in your key ring. In your key ring, you should have a flashlight. And in your key ring, you should also have um, something to make noises. Something, because if you're going to bend with your hand, yeah. And so um, you will need stuff like that. These three main things. And also you will need water. Because obviously um, before these things happened, a lot of people uh, were kind of like, I have money, I will get water. Yeah. Except that there is no electricity and 
ice will run out probably in about three or four hours in that area. Three or four hours stops. And um, the surrounding areas will also run out of ice almost immediately because that is one of the first things that people will look for. And um, then of course you go to the malls and you go everywhere to eat. At this point, I gotta tell you that if you have a restaurant and if you have a power power, uh, power generator or something, then you're probably going to be okay because you will be filled that day to the point in which whatever money you did not make in, in one month, you will overdo it for the next two days. Just because, you know, nobody wants to be at home when it's hot, when it is whatever, and then you don't have power and all of these things. And, and when you don't want to clean, if you even if you don't have money people will go to the bank and and get it and and somehow whatever it takes they will borrow it they will uh pay you with with whatever it takes because nobody wants to deal with cleaning messing hot being with the kids i mean there is so many things that are happening at once and so restaurants especially like i said in malls are going to be you know filled in insane bakeries and any place that sells food especially prepared food um, however by law there is a lot of places that will not take you that will not allow you to take food home as in they are not allowed to sell you the leftovers uh, especially in places in Australia and certain areas because they need a license for that um, and so you need to understand the law within your, your your own areas and so if you're expecting to get things you know let's say that you are from the US or, or like me a foreigner in Australia and then you're like hey I didn't finish my pizza can I take it home no uh, but I paid for it yeah I'm sorry but uh, no we, we, we can't give you the pizza yeah it's, 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 a, it's a it's a thing so make sure that you understand the law in terms of um, food deliveries food packaging food um, conservation because there are places that will go kind of like if you didn't have power for more than half an hour then we're shutting you down as in you have to slow down close down the entire place because they did not have power for more than half an hour and they will consider that all of the food is gone and so uh, they won't sell you the food or stuff like this and so it, you go to the supermarket and then you're like i'm trying to get ice yeah i'm sorry it has been more than half an hour and we can't have anybody near the refrigerators or whatever because everything is spoiled, contaminated or whatever. So um, this is, is going to be a thing. So just make sure that you understand uh, all of these topics beforehand because then you are going to probably be in, in shock. Um, other things that I have mentioned before are the, the idea that nobody will go into panic mode and then kill you or whatever because that's just not how your mind works how anybody's mind works by the way even if you're a killer if, if there is no power whatsoever the first priority that you're going to get is, is kind of like how the hell do I protect my food and where the hell is the ice and how the hell do I do this and how the hell do I do that so basically everybody will be doing the same thing as you Everybody will be on the same boat, regardless of, of anything. And so um, it's like there is a stop for crime and a stop from, from a lot of things that are violent. However, there will be uh, petty theft and things like this. It's kind of like, yeah, you, I saw your wallet, I'm taking it. And then, you know, you're like, where the hell is my, yeah. So petty, petty theft is kind of like, like a thing, you know, you, you gotta be careful with that one, especially because, um, let's say that, uh, you know, uh, people saw this in the, in the TikTok videos, in the Stanley Cup. I have mentioned this in my videos a lot. I have a reproduction list, playlist, or, or, um, whatever you want to call it. I have a lot of videos called shopping. So it's like you go through there and I, I mentioned that one of the first things that people will do is they will hide things so people in the u.s were kind of like oh there is no more stanley's and then they were you know browsing to the store and then they found the stanley cups and other stuff that were behind the tvs 
or they were uh, between the towers in, in or they were in the camping section where they uh, where there was uh, the boating paradox or, or whatever it was and so they were not there the reason being well the people as in people who are customers and people who work in the store they will hide it so that they can get it later I mentioned that before they will put it behind certain products they will put it anywhere like that and so this is going to be like a like a topic if you want to find something you're probably going to have to look from for the entire store and um you, there is people you know i saw only one guy as one time but there is people that will take a, a mirror and they will put it into a stick and then <laughs> that way you can just look into the floor with the stick or into the you know higher shelves so that you can know what the hell you know is people hiding um so it's very 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 important that you understand this one by the way and um in the shopping list i also mentioned that there were a lot of places that were just shut down entirely because they didn't have power and at this point a lot of people will just run out of the store either in fear or something like this so i mentioned that um even when i was in the mall there were power outages and you could see because things were gray okay they were like dark but they were gray but one time i was at the supermarket and there was a power outage that lasted a few seconds before the the plant or the generator you know started and I was in the middle of the store and it was pitch black pitch black like I could not see where was the freaking exit and I could not even see where I was going or who do I have behind I could not see virtually nothing and I, uh, what, you know, this is, um, I, I, I remember that I made that video and I mentioned that, of course, did happen today, which was the only day in which I ran out of my house because I remember that there was a product. It was a pear product. We call it pear, as in uh, producto especial regulado, as in regulated special product. Regulated means you only get 10 for the entire store. And if you're not in the store, in the first second when those things arrive then you're not getting it and so um i ran out of my house to get it because the, the supermarket is two blocks from my house and of course i was there with no edc i just ran with my purse to get the money and the key and that's it i ran and so at that time i did not have key uh, flashlights or anything my key ring or anything at all and so yeah i had to wait and of course i uh, one of the first things that you will learn is that you will put your hands like this try to protect your pockets and your back because if if you do it any other way you might be in trouble and so you will try to protect certain areas of your body or where you are thinking that you're going to probably be attacked from and stuff like this and something is up I have no idea what is up apparently we will have visitors or something so I gotta go I hope that this video was helpful somehow and I will tell you about uh, the whole process later but um, anyway see you again soon